Before we get into the video, make sure to join my Discord server. I just created it. Welcome back to Drive World. Today I wanted to show you me putting i6s in the best cars in the game. To start off, I'm going to try the CN. So here we are in the garage, and here is the i6. It makes it way worse. So when we buy this, it'll actually allow me to go into 600 races. And there we go. Compared to V10... Yeah, this is pretty bad. So as you can see, this is an 800 race, but we're still going to try it in here because maybe it'll be good. Alright guys, make sure to buy the $3.6 million CN and put a i6 in it because it'll win you races. This car is way more reliable than all these other cars here. Now moving on to the next car, uh, let's try the Zena. So putting the i6 on this one actually put, puts it below 800, so maybe this will be a little bit better than the CN. And here we are in a race. These races probably aren't the best because they're straights, and I don't think the i6 is really made for that. It actually doesn't feel too bad for an 800 car. Okay, I was starting to get a little bit worried. I started to think that the Senna i6 was better than the Camo RS in the 800 range. We're, we're fine, we're fine. This i6 Senna is not actually better. So I'll definitely be keeping this stock engine. And moving on to the next car, we have the La Ferrari. This one makes it below 700, so... Maybe I should take off some other parts to make it below 600 so that it can go into 600 races. Alright, I think that's the closest I'm going to get it to 600 at 582, so let's try this out. Uh, it's not that bad, but there's definitely better cars in the 600 range. Now moving on to the second best car in the game, we have the Vulture. Putting uh, an i6 into this makes it really, really low. This might be the worst out of all of them. Here we are in a 1000 race. The only thing that this Bugatti is really good for is scaring away the lower level players because they'll think that it's way better than them, but this thing is awful.
Yeah, I would not recommend you spending 3.5 million dollars on a car, fully maxing it, and then putting an i6 into it. And for the last car we have here is the Yesco. Putting this in makes it around 800, so I'm gonna actually lower it to make it into that range. And there we go, we are at 793. This should be good enough for the 800 range. All right, we're in an any race, and let's see how good this is. Yeah, when this thing starts up, it is really slow. The acceleration on this thing is awful. I mean, I'm trying to prove it wrong that it's bad, but I'm still getting second place. But I think it's obvious not to spend $4 million on a car, maxing it out, and then putting an i6 in it. That's going to be it for today. I can't take this anymore. I cannot put i6s in my car. It makes them way too slow. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.